I'm Brianna Smith, your Caldwell neighborhood reporter at the Civic Center. Here, some of your neighbors are learning a little more about Czech culture and they're starting young. Brooklyn Eldridge is learning four languages. Right now, I'm learning at least four different languages, starting with Spanish, though because half of my family is Spanish. Except for one that is a large part of her community's culture. We've been to a couple Czech places, but I haven't actually learned the language or anything. Until now, she's learning Czech at the Harry P. Woodson Library's homeschool meet and greet. I love learning new languages. Zaji. Zaji. It's Brooklyn's passion that volunteer and Czech descendant Zach Skaba says he's hoping to inspire in other students. The Czech language is something that is just kind of it seems it's getting really watered down and is it's losing its identity and um, that's why I'm doing what I do is promoting the language. Zach tells me early Czechoslovakian immigrants settled in the 1800s, eventually spreading the culture to places like Burleson County. What parts of the culture are still kind of around today that you um, just kind of see around Burleson County culture? Uh, we, we do have several different festivals in this area and one of them is always the second Saturday of September, the Kalachi Festival. We'll still see from time to time people uh, here that still speak the language, but like I said, that, that that's getting uh, less and less. So he's teaching kids basic Czech language and how to make their own quick kolaches, a popular Czech pastry. And it's all inspired Brooklyn to keep studying. I would love to travel a bunch of different places and uh, learning different languages is definitely going to make it easier and improve my education. The library hosts different activities for these students each month, but to learn more about Czech culture, the library does have books available. I'm your neighborhood reporter here in Caldwell, Brianna Smith.